Hi, it's Alex. I'm wearing a hoodie because I'm here to give you financial advice. This is going to be a little bit different from a lot of my financial advice videos, and probably from all the other financial advice videos you're going to find on the internet. A lot of times when people talk about how to improve your finances, they're focused on very systematic things that directly improve your financial situation. And I want to talk about something that is a little bit more indirect, but I think critically important, and often a lot more important than these sorts of other things like budgeting, and like making sure you're bringing in enough income, making sure you're not spending too much, all those sorts of things. I want to talk about generosity, and how important generosity is for your financial situation. Both your own generosity, and the generosity of other people, and how these things sort of synergize with each other, and how you can use that to get into a better situation financially. The way a lot of human society works is that people like to help each other out, and a huge portion of this help does not happen in the money economy. People just give things to each other, they do favors for each other, there are free things given out, people invite people over and give them free things, there are events, blah blah blah. There's like so much stuff where things of value are being exchanged, and no money is changing hands. And I think that one of the keys to financial success is to get tapped into that. Like, don't live all in the cash economy. The cash economy can be very stifling. It's just like one transaction after another, and a lot of the time, there are a lot of people out there who are trying to rip you off. They're trying to sell their product for the highest price, and it's kind of a game to figure out how not to get ripped off. On the other hand, if you're operating in this world of genuine goodwill, people are really trying to help each other. So, how do you get tapped into this? I think the best thing to do is to start with being generous yourself, and saying like, what do I have to offer? And there's so many different ways to do this. You can give stuff away. If you have anything that you don't need, that you're not using, and it's something of value, it could be clothing, it could be electronics, it could be furniture, whatever. Give it away, offer it to your friends, make a post on social media. Like, if you have a lot of clothing, try organizing a clothing swap. Uh, if you have an old bookshelf that you're not using, everyone always loves bookshelves. If you have just whatever it is that you want to give away, offer it up. You can also bring things when you're invited places. And think about, like, so some, someone invites you to dinner, someone invites you to a party, well, bring something. And think about, like, what do you have to offer that's going to bring the, the best value? So, for example, I'm really good at picking out certain types of food and drink. And so, like, if there's a particular type of fruit that is in season, and I'm good at picking it out, that's what I'm going to bring to some sort of event, like a potluck or something. Or if there's a dish where it's like, wow, I'm really good at making this dish, and the ingredients aren't very expensive, and maybe it's a little bit tricky for me to make, but I know how to do it, and people like it, then I make that. Or like, maybe I just went to some interesting market in some city far away, and I bought some interesting product that is hard to find where I live, then I can bring that. Like, whatever it is you have to offer, offer that up. And I think over time, if you're generous in general, you're going to find that other people appreciate that. And like, if you always bring something to an event, people are going to keep inviting you to that kind of event. And then you're going to get whatever benefits you get out of going to that event, whether it's like meeting people, socializing, maybe they're other sorts of things. You brought one type of thing, other people have other types of things. People don't necessarily think about the financial implications of these sorts of interactions, but they can have huge financial implications. Like, for example, say you host a potluck, or you go to a potluck. 
you make one dish of food that is something that is easy and possibly inexpensive for you to prepare, because you're good at making it, you go and a whole bunch of other people do the same thing, but it's like, there's this tons and tons of food, it's this giant feast and everyone's eating really good food. If you went to a restaurant, you might spend twenty, twenty-five dollars to get that much food of that good quality. So everyone is getting this amazing value, and it's because they're coming together and they're utilizing their strengths. And the same thing, like, you have some piece of furniture, some piece of electronic equipment that you're sitting around and not using, and you give it to your friend, well, maybe your friend would have had to spend twenty bucks or fifty bucks if they bought that at the store. And the same thing for when people give things to you. So, basically, that's what I have to say. Like, be generous, and don't be afraid to accept other people's generosity, too. Uh, if you focus on offering the things that are easy for you to offer, or that you don't even want, you just want to give them away, focus on that, and take advantage of it when other people do that. This will help you financially. You will spend less money, and you will live better, and it's really great. And that's what I have to say today. Thank you!